I've traveled around the world on boats and surfing and diving and I just always believed in the ocean is such a treasure, we should always try to keep it clean and nice. It's an outlet for people to get away from the crowded city, get down to the ocean, uh, get in the water, and remind oneself that there are other things besides the cities and the suburbs of New Jersey. I love everything about the Jersey Shore. I love the ocean, the salty air, the fish. And I've been coming down here since I'm a child, and I just come down here with great memories, childhood memories, my family coming down, and uh, the, the waves, I used to ride waves as a kid, and just good times. Just the fact that I raised my kids down here, and they all have sand in their shoes, and they all just want to come back here. The ocean gives to us in many ways. Its bounty feeds our body as well as our soul. Many of the residents of New Jersey and New York recall fond memories of childhood spent at the shore. The car packed to the gills for a weekend at the beach, making sand castles, boogie boarding, surfing, fishing, basking in the sun, and topping it off with a fresh seafood dinner at one of the great seaside restaurants. Now it's your turn to take your family to the same places. Will a healthy ocean be there for them to enjoy? The ocean is plagued by pollution from many sources, including people's everyday activities. This pollution adds up, especially off the coast of New York and New Jersey, one of the most densely populated areas of the United States. Will you take action to help preserve and protect one of nature's greatest gifts? If not, then who will? The waters off our shore are known as the New York, New Jersey Bight, and they extend from the tip of Montauk, New York, along the coast to Cape May, New Jersey. Unfortunately, these rich waters have been used for decades as a cheap and easy dumping ground for waste and are the ultimate sink for pollution every day. For 20 years, Clean Ocean Action has organized citizens, businesses, and officials to stop pollution and worked to improve our ocean using research, education, and action. When Clean Ocean Action began 20 years ago, it was a small coalition of a handful of groups that were very concerned about the ocean dumping activities. We had learned that there were over eight ocean dump sites off our coast that had been offshore that we had knew very little about, and the coalition started to end ocean dumping practices. It grew and grew with many more groups joining forces with a very basic formula of identifying the source of the pollution, looking at the effects to the ocean, and then identifying alternatives. With that formula, Clean Ocean Action activated thousands of citizens that wrote letters and signed petitions. Organizations and their memberships rallied and the campaign strengthened. Within 15 years, Clean Ocean Action closed all ocean dump sites off our coast. Closing these dump sites was a huge victory, but it was only the beginning of our fight to protect our ocean. Pollution from people near and far finds its way into the ocean by washing into waterways. Every day, millions of us contribute oil and grease drippings, pesticides and fertilizers from lawns and gardens, sediment, sewage, pet waste and garbage. This pollution adds up and contaminates our ocean. As a result, hundreds of marine animals eat or get entangled in trash and die. Our beaches are dirty, people get sick from contact with polluted water, and dozens of health advisories tell us which fish are not safe to eat from these waters. Polluted ocean waters and closed beaches drastically affect the way we live our lives in this region. The New Jersey shore alone is the foundation for a $50 billion coastal economy that includes tourism and fisheries. One in six jobs in New Jersey is related to the coastal zone, making coastal revenues the state's largest economic sector. The real estate market depends on the allure of living near the ocean, a clean ocean. Our strong coalition continues to work to address ocean pollution problems and to provide solutions. In 1985, Clean Ocean Action held the nation's first beach cleanup along the East Coast. The beach sweeps occur annually, and it is one of the largest cleanups of its kind in the nation. 
other educational activities and events, such as student summits, are held throughout the year to engage people of all ages in becoming the solution to ocean pollution. These activities teach people about ocean pollution and the steps they can take to help protect the ocean. Ocean water quality has definitely improved, and unfortunately for some people that has given them a false sense of security that our problems are solved, and that is very far from the truth. You know, we still have beach closures, we still have garbage wash-ups, and we still have an amazing amount of pollution washing into our waters. Not until, you know, beach cleanup activities are no longer needed and all the fish are healthy and safe to eat is our job done. The time is now to lock in the tremendous path of progress that has led to far-reaching improvements in our ocean water quality and lock out environmentally harmful actions. As caretakers of this watery world, we have a responsibility to safeguard the millions of amazing creatures. Our children deserve a clean ocean for their economic well-being, their health, and the memories they'll have to share with their children. Closed beaches and a polluted ocean can end those carefree days of fun in the sun. Will you help give back to our ocean? Your voice, action, and support are needed to make a difference in protecting the ocean for now and future generations. Join Clean Ocean Action. You can make a difference. Save my ocean. Get involved with Clean Ocean Action today.